Yeah, some of you guys probably already know me. Uh, my name is Ryan McCarron. I'm the fishing manager at Orvis Tyson's Corner. Um, real quick, I'm just going to kind of go over your basic tackle and a little bit of rigging for you guys. Uh, we'll make it short and sweet and move on to the next tire. But really, when it comes to shad fishing, I kind of consider there to be two main setups. It's just really dependent more on the water you're fishing than on, you know, the fish itself, right? So to begin with, you know, for your smaller tributaries, my, my prime example of that would be the Rappahannock River. Uh, you know, I like to fish a nine foot seven weight rod. I think that's just about perfect. It's going to carry the lines that I need to use. Uh, and it's not overkill on the, uh, on, on the actual fish, right? So when I'm fishing the Rappahannock, I use a nine foot seven weight rod. And what I'll typically use is something like, oh, I don't know if that's going to show up. Sorry, guys. Uh, anyways, well, it's our bank shot sink tip from the shop. Uh, it's more of an intermediate line. The Rappahannock really isn't quite as deep as uh, the Potomac, obviously. So we don't necessarily need to get down as deep. Um, so any sort of intermediate line will work for you there. The other thing that you can always do is just go for kind of a lighter weight uh, full sink line that might help translate you over into uh, the Potomac. Now, on the flip side, going out to Fletcher's, that is some obviously extraordinarily deep water, and you're also running into uh, more of an American shad population. That's what I'm going to switch up to an eight weight rod for when I take out one of those boats. And I'm going to rock anything from a 250 to a 350 grain sink line. Uh, again, that's about a 40 foot sink, uh, sink line. So that's our depth charge. You know, the Potomac's much deeper. We do need to get down to the bottom down there and, uh, you know, really get them up. So having a more aggressive sink line that's going to go much deeper is going to be a, a huge help. Now, one thing I do kind of want to go over, and I think you guys should be able to see this a little bit better than my box there, um, but just kind of my basic, the way I rig these uh, lines up when I'm out there. One of the things that I actually get a lot of uh, issues with is people are actually busting the, uh, the loop end, the welded loop on their sink lines, because again, we're fishing really deep. We're losing a lot of flies down in the rocks uh, and we're trying to catch those, you know, bottom of the river shad. So something that I like to do is essentially create a little mini leader for it. So what I've done here is just basically taken about a 50 pound uh, fluorocarbon line and put a perfection loop in either end of it. Can you all see that? At least when it goes by my face a little bit. Basically what that's gonna do is protect that loop on your line. Uh, this is gonna be much heavier. It's gonna have more surface area. It's less likely to cut into your line like your, your normal tip it would. Because when we're fishing this deep with sink lines, we wanna make sure that line stays down. In order to do that, we're dropping a nine foot leader. We don't want that anymore. We want something a little bit shorter. So while I've definitely made this even more short than I really need to, you're going to see that I've got my happy little butt section here, which will feed into about, you know, if I was actually fishing, I would say about two feet of line here. And then ultimately link up to my shad darts. Now, especially when I'm fishing at the Potomac, I will be a little sneaky and add a second one to the end. That's going to help you get down nice and deep. You know, the, the line's going to help, but this will help you even more. Um, and, you know, you may even end up hooking up on two shad at the same time, which is always a blast. You know, you can't complain about a double. Uh, obviously, these flies look a little bit different than uh, Mr. Jack's. These are some uh, grandpa shads, Mr. Terry Cummings. Um, that just happens to be what I have. Um, but there's all sorts of basic little patterns like this you can pick up. Uh, you know, Mark mentioned me tying last year. That's a whole different pattern than what we've seen, you know, just now and including my little spiel here. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It's not exactly rocket science. It's just managing to get down and stay down and, and really know in the body of water how deep it is and how to plan accordingly. So that's it right. for me, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.